Yes. Fuck. Yes, man, we can. I knew it. This fucking <laughs> mouse is so goddamn loud. <laughs> Just totally stepped all over my intro, man. Hey, I, I hey Bill whole... O'Reilly, you want you want, oh, you want to relax? Bill yeah, we're, we're alive. <laughs> hey, you guys we're know. Alive! You guys know how to like hire huh? a hooker? <laughs> so, is that a thing that can be done on the internet? Oh, we're live. Oh shit. Okay. Here's here's the intro. <laughs> well, you do have a harmonica. I do have a harmonica. Yeah. Welcome to the Ramblecast. That's it. That's the intro. So, <clears throat> so I, I, I said, I go, if you have a harmonica, you must have been in prison. So I was just joking. <laughs> yeah, you you didn't catch that on on recording, but uh, no, you know. because well, you, cause you have to. I think everyone in prison has to play harmonica. There has to be that one guy, right? I wouldn't know. I got this from my grandfather, but uh, now I'm starting to wonder where this harmonica has been. So. Because I, you know, you, you see like the old West, and there's always like a you know like a, a warp. You know, like his prisoner of war has always got a harmonica. And, My know, grandfather always- h- held this up his ass <laughs> all through World War II. <laughs> every time to- he fart, every time he farted, he played a little tune. <laughs> <laughs> Now, when I put my lips on this, I think about my grandfather in World War II every day. It, it tastes just like him. Oh, that is so gross. I mean, so uh, this is a, you started. It. This you started. is an explicit podcast. If you didn't know by now, yeah. If you didn't know with uh, Chris's opening, is Chris frozen? Oh, no, I guess he is. He's not frozen. He's just, he's just, he just muted himself. I, I felt I, I didn't. No, whatever. Fuck it. <laughs> it, it. I've seen it happen. It's happened to O'Reilly, Chris Berman. It, it happens. I mean, just people lose their, uh, you know, touch. Yeah. Well, it's like that news that newswoman that it's, uh, I think it's New York or something like that. They 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 fade out, and she goes, "What the fuck are you doing?" <laughs> you see that? It's an old one, but it's like, and, and then I go. <laughs> It's like, um, <laughs> that's funny. Well, Chris, just, just, we all say things. It's just, yeah. Uh, it, it's been a while, guys. I mean, it's like we took a week off. So always, always feels kind of. Well, it's been a while since Chris has been on, right? No, Chris well, was on I mean, two weeks I ago. On, I was oh, on last show. Oh, so it was all four of us last week, right? Yeah. Yeah. There's somebody missing just, here, but we don't know who. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, the other guy's not here. Oh, that's and he won't be here. He won't be here next week either. Just to let you guys heads up. We're recording two shows tonight. Oh, because next wait, week's wait, another spoiler. Wait, you don't wait, have wait, to wait. tell him that. We could. We could just wait, hide. Dude, Oz, way to pull back the curtain. Yeah. Jeez. Okay, then we're not recording two shows tonight. Well, I'm. Why was Nick not here twice in a row? We, you know, we call we we called you boss at the beginning, and then it just went to your head. So you got to tell everybody all of our dirty secrets. Hmm. So. Chris, you look like you got some sun. So. Yeah, I got, I got a little bit of sun. I was away on vacation last week. Uh, I was down on Cape Cod. Um, Any sharks? With, uh, there were a ton, actually. Not where we were, but there were um, a number of sightings um, on the other side of the Cape. Well, you got to keep Lady Gaga there. there with, she's swimming with her meat suit on. So you got to <laughs> just cracking the shark, right? Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, the, the Cape is um, is known for for sharks, much like the Outer Banks are near, you know, off of the Carolinas and such. Yeah. Um, but the uh, Great Whites are. I mean, shit. Jaws was filmed out this way, right? So that that's right. kind of like where the whole story was and took place. Well, you guys got um, bad mayors out there, so you got what? Bad mayors. <laughs> the, yes, the mayor from Jaws, notoriously yes. a horrible mayor, terrible, terrible mayor. Um, but uh, you know, it was been phenomenal week. You know, we we had this a, a core group of uh, folks that you know, friends of ours, and uh, that we I don't know how many years in a row we've done this, but you know, my wife and I started the tradition probably like eight or nine years ago when we were very fortunate to have a family member that had um, a rental, like a investment property rental on the water that we used to stay at. But it was like a, you know, 300, 400 square foot little fisherman shack on the ocean, um, which was amazing. And we would cram a few people in there. And then unfortunately our relatives sold that house because they were kind of putting towards yeah, I know. Right. Seriously. Uh, money. Um, seriously. That's pretty selfish. Ugh. I know. 
Um, but you should see the shit they built on the on the water because of the money they had from that house and the sale sale of another place too. But um, unbelievable, absolutely unbelievable. But the so for the last two three years, we've been um, renting a place. So we get together with this eight adults and now two and a half kids um, that uh, that rent. And we rent the house. We're so spoiled. I think I talked about this a couple weeks ago, but so spoiled that we actually we have to be on the water just because it's it's become such a, a luxury that we would never be able to live without the, the packing up the car, going back and forth to the house, this, that, and the other. So we did that. And we the only reasons we left the house the entire week was to get beer. <laughs> it was phenomenal. Wait, you got to have, um, have your priorities. Yeah. You know, I know well, you didn't say food. Well, no, we did that beforehand. So we have uh, up here, we have like a wholesale club chain uh, called BJ's. I don't know if you guys have BJ's down south. Yeah. We have BJ's down mm-hmm. here. Yeah. yeah. Um, it's, for single, it's for single people. Yeah. <laughs> so my, my friend Melissa actually is a, uh, a buyer for BJ's because BJ's is, is – is, uh, I just got that joke. Yeah, um, she is. <laughs> yes. Uh, she, 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 she's, a, she's a buyer for BJ's, actually, and she <laughs> sounds so awesome. I'd, um, I'd be – I'd why buy when you can their, – Their headquarters are located <laughs> up here. Um, I think not, it started Morehead State. Yeah. College. Um, anyways, so they're, they're big fans of, of – I hope she. Oh, where, where is it? <laughs> I really, I really hope she never gets the shaft. Yeah, I hope so too. Um, anyways, we loaded up on on all of our food at the beginning. <laughs> There's no coming away. There's, oh. <laughs> There's no coming away from that. Is there? Yeah. No, no. Mm. I think we're gonna go all in on this one. Um, Anyway, <laughs> well, it's a tough thing Anyways, to swallow. Yeah, it's, 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 it's <laughs> <laughs> so all, all we need to do, all we need to leave the house for the entire week was beer and ice. So, yeah. but what a place um, to go! Just, yeah. yeah. Oh man. Um, yeah, it was, it was one of those things where, like, I I went seven days without having any stress whatsoever, other than that's, the normal stress nice. of kids, which is nice. Um, and I got slapped in the face today, where I, had, I I have to go into work. I have to go into work today. And I have to go into work yet, uh, tomorrow, um, and then I get to take my uh, paternity leave, which I'm excited for. Um, but I have to get. I have. I'm on a deadline, so I'm on a deadline. It's different from everybody else because the deadline for what needs to get done is isn't until the end of the month. But my plan is to not be there. Right. So I I have to get it done now. So I delayed my paternity time to get this specifics of my uh, job completed so how long do you um, have three months uh no i get a total of six weeks but oh, six weeks yeah i'm, I'm breaking i was it thinking up, i was thinking i was thinking google i'm sorry yeah no I'm, I'm breaking it up a little bit so um i took a week um of the of the time when he was born i, I doubled some vacation time in there so i was actually off for about a week and a half two weeks but i only use a week of the of the um of the what do you call it the uh the, the, the leave thank yeah. you paternity leave dude my, my brain is still mush by the way if you haven't been able to well I I hate. all those tri- all those trips to bj can do it well no we we had gummies every single night it was amazing oh wow um i'll, I'll tell that story in a second but anyway wait, so where the is fuck that, was wait, I? Wait, story? Wait, it, it's gummy older people at bj's Jeez. <laughs> I'm, 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 <laughs> oh my god <laughs> I thought my jokes were bad, man. That was terrible. It was nasty. That was terrible. Uh, I know. I hate myself for it. Well, that was first thing that came. That was first thing that popped to my head. So, I... <laughs> to, Anyways, to clear so anyway, the air. Way, way, way longer story short. Um, than needs to be. I'm taking some time off the rest of this month. I'll be off until August, and then um, I'll take some more time off in September. But anyways. Um, yeah, so on the way down, I, I stopped and to get some provisions at our local dispensary. My first time ever going to a recreational and medicinal dispensary. It was my first time going to one of those places in Massachusetts. Uh, you need to flash your card. Yeah, I'm a to, card member. Yeah, it, it it has its perks too because this place does not have, has on site parking, but only for medical patients. Um, otherwise, you have to get like shuttled in from a parking lot a quarter, half mile down the road. 
Um, really? Oh yeah, and I got to, skip, get to skip the line the whole night. It was pretty cool. Anyways, so I dropped like two hundred and like forty bucks <laughs> on edibles and vape cartridges, and I was like, all right, so I want to get these, you know, microdose five milligram gummies, right? That's what Jack. I think you're familiar with these as well. I've, and, I've heard about it. Yes. Yeah, and uh, so I, I bought a bunch of them. And then when I got to the Cape house and I was getting ready to partake, I looked down and they're 20 milligram gummies, which is five times as strong as it's what I, would, I was looking for. And normally I thankfully looked at the box before the, the package, before I, I uh, decided to pop one in and um, I didn't. So I had to cut them all up. So I cut them up all into thirds. Which, by the way, actually ended up to be in our favor because I literally tripled the amount of gummies that I thought I had. <laughs> um, but every single night, man, like oh my, oh my gosh, every single night, they, they when the kids go to bed, and we go down and have a fire on the beach or hang on the back porch and you know play cards against humanity or whatever the hell we were doing. Um, every single night, it was awesome. Like we got some gummy bears. Yeah, it was so good. Um, really enjoyed it. I mean, we had a, we had a, we sure did have a blast. And, and today was definitely a um, a rough day for me. <laughs> I'm still like. So you got back? Did you get? Did you get back yesterday? I, I, Sunday. Uh, Saturday afternoon. Saturday. Yeah. So so my uh, so I'm very similar to to Chris in this regard, and the fact that I had a. Uh, kind of a family getaway uh, last week, which is also why we couldn't record. Um, so, and uh, today was the first day back to work and back to getting like taking care of shit. You know, just it's just Monday's a rough day when after that that uh, Fourth of July holiday weekend. And I'm sure Chris and I aren't the only ones out there that had this like extended no, I, long. I think you guys were the only ones who went on vacation. Oh, we were the only ones. I think in the America. only ones. Yeah, the, the only ones in America. America. Well, the only ones listening. I think. Okay. Well, <laughs> which is I, uh, all of America, and my, some, in, uh, some in Russia, and some in Canada. Every every Fourth of July, we go to uh, my cousin's. Uh, he lives in the house that my grandfather um, and my grandmother built. Uh, so it's kind of like going back to, you know, kind of the roots, really, right. of like where I grew up. And uh, it's just a nice family get together, like all the family. It's kind of like a family reunion, Fourth of July. And my cousin, my cousin spares no. And, and just to give you a little head, like my cousin is uh, just about two months younger than I am. So we're we're kind of I think of him more as like a brother cousin. If that makes sense, you know, like when you're when you're that close in age and you're always spending time together. You know, it's just there's a different bond there. But um, anyway. Uh, so camping, camping in, in just the god awful heat. The only way to beat the heat is basically to jump in the pond and like cool off and like just float basically. And uh either drinking, uh he had some uh he had a couple of vape pens, so he just basically gave me one when I arrived. Uh and was like, Here you go, this is yours for the week. So uh so that was nice. And uh yeah, just just relaxing in the in the pond and uh you know so anyway uh I'm getting sidetracked here my cousin spares no expense when it comes to fireworks on the fourth of july he uh he uh the place where he works basically he can bring it in and he's a distributor of fireworks so he uh yeah he's got a lot it's it's insane it's it's like the, the amount of fireworks and the big stuff that we like. He could start a war. Is that what you're saying? Well, he could have. I mean, basically, we get this own little private, you know, professional fireworks show every year, and well, cool. uh, it's it's also fun lighting the stuff when you don't have to pay for it. You know, you're like lighting the big cakes. You know, I mean, it's basically like there's four of us running out there in a field with, you know, these these bricks of just you know fireworks. Everybody lights it at once, runs. And then, and then, as we're getting done with that, another four are running out there to put some other bricks out there and, and light them up. And um, this year, I mean, seriously, like I, I don't know, he has around eight hundred dollars worth of fireworks. Wow! <laughs> yeah, it's it's nuts. But he asked me to stop and buy him fuse 
Um, so I was like, okay, sure. Like of all the things that you can't. Can you, buy, can you hold that thought, Matt? Sure. This time we're going to take a commercial break. Do you like fuses? Sure, we all like fuses. <laughs> well, I stopped and, and picked him up some fuse so that we could actually, you know, connect several together. And so we we had a grand finale this this year where it was like all sixteen, you know, you know, going off at the same. Are you time. playing? Are you playing music at the same time, or is it? Just no, like- we didn't do. We we're not that. We're not at that level yet. You all know, right. okay. first step: getting things connected so that as you light one, a whole row of four will go off. You know, it was about a minute, a minute 30 solid of just fireworks. So is this like a, it's just like a secluded area. Is it just uh yeah, yeah. It's, it's secluded because apparently it's illegal to light fireworks off in Ohio. So, uh, which, (laughs) well, they're worried about those low flying airplanes that just start off, you know, yeah, yeah. Those low flying airlines. Um, so, my my son, this was like the first year that he wanted to partake in the lighting of fireworks. And so my cousin was like, all right, you know, he's got to start small with bottle rocket, worked his way up to something a little bit bigger. And then finally, like for the fourth, he was out there getting to light some of these bigger fireworks. I, the look on my son's face, like, I mean, he, he was like a, uh, I, I don't have a good enough metaphor for it, but I mean, him just running out there, being scared to death, and then running back off the field as these fireworks are just, like, so loud and just, like, you're so close to them. And just his his face of just being utterly thrilled and scared to death at the same time. It was it was pure joy. I was like, I think I think I think he's going to have a couple hairs that grow out of his chest tonight. (laughs) What's hair on his chest? It was it was fun. So, um, but anyway, that's that was part of my my little vacation. A lot of sun, a lot of water, a lot of uh, uh, barbiturates. I don't know what do you call them. Uh, <laughs> and uh, yeah, and some blowing some shit up. So uh, you know, it was a good good weekend. And that's, a, like, that's America. And just like Chris, I am back to the grind today. And just like, oh my god, it sucks, man. Right. Nothing sucks worse than just coming back to work after vacation. It is it is the worst. I mean, there's just a the list of things that are there for you that have piled up while you were gone, uh, and then just the bombardment of like I don't know. It just it just felt like a Monday after the fourth. Like yeah, I used to hate when you leave you leave work for like ten days. You come back, you go, why did I even fucking go? Why the fuck? Because you come back and there's this shitload of crap you got to do, and it's like nobody could do it. Nobody could do it while I was gone. Yeah, or certain things are somehow changed. You're yeah. like, wait, wait, no, I left the computer and this stuff running like this. How is this different? <laughs> and then the only other person that I work with is like, I don't know. It's just different. <laughs> like, I don't know what happened. No, 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 no. It's not just different. Like. You clicked on something. You pushed a button. Like this doesn't. It's not just an organic flower. The computer you just were struggling. Doesn't... You were struggling to delete the porn. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, anyway, watching old so. pe- old people gum each other. Oh God, jeez, <laughs> that visual again? Really, <laughs> really, Jack? I think that what's the title of this episode? Gummy. <laughs> I guess. Gummy, gummy me. <laughs> Gummy, <sighs> gummy, gummy jays. Yeah. Well, I, I didn't go anywhere. Uh, I'm, go, I'm leaving actually tomorrow for San Diego. Um, I'll be out there almost two weeks. Um, but uh, yeah, but uh, yeah, we had everyone. Our, our whole family came over. We have a little uh, stand-up pool that my wife likes to float in that I have to put together. And <laughs> oh, Jack! I don't know if like, I froze or not, but it's just oh, I, it, it, it's just. To me, it's just it's just more work than. But she's happy with it, so I have to go. You know, I just have to kind of nod and shake my head and go, "Yeah, this is great. This is great." But you know, everyone, Zach came over. He liked going in the pool, and then my daughter, who's pregnant, she went in the pool with Zach, and uh, had a, then we had a little tiny pool for the little ones and a slide and all that stuff, and had fun. But then I'm barbecuing, and Jay goes, "I'm doing charcoals." I go, "You have to wait, or it'll because the, the charcoal will catch on fire." It's, it's, I have a small little barbecue. Mm. And he's, they're all compl- – we're hung. I go, all right, I'll put the hamburgers on. So I put the 12 hamburgers on, and sure enough, I, tr- I come back out. 
the, the fucking uh, it's it's on it's a it's an inferno. I'm like oh. son of a bitch. I had to run back in get the sweat. So I put the close the lid to get the fire to you know you know take out the oxygen. And yeah, I, the hot, the hamburgers were the were the worst hamburgers I ever made in my life. Jay's like, it's not that bad. And my daughter's like, it sucks, Dad. These <laughs> suck. <laughs> they were. T- I ate one. It was like it was like eating charcoal. It was so. I go, sorry guys, sorry I fucked up food for Fourth of July. But because usually I like to cook them nice and slow. That's the best way to cook any like a steak or it, it's just nice and slow so it doesn't you know. But yeah, they were fucked up. They were they were they were they were beyond recognition. It was bad. Well, two things to take away from this. One, um, Jay's Jay's so nice to you. Like, he's just trying to make you feel good. Yeah, which was, I think he was drunk. I don't know. I don't know if he was drinking or not, but he, he goes, no, they weren't that bad, unless he got the one good one that I was able to say. And then two, your daughter, was this Heather? It was uh, Heather and Kayla. Oh, okay. Well, I don't, know they, which, I don't know which one told you the truth. Oh, they both did. Oh, well, see, there you go. They, they said they were terrible. Okay. And, but they, they, the younger kids had hot dogs, so they were okay. But, uh, the hamburgers, I was like, oh, my God, these things are gone. And I was starving, but I ate the whole – I'm like, oh, my God, this is brutal. There was, there mm. was no – no, you could put all the condiments you want on it. There was no saving it. It, it, was, it was absolutely god-awful. It was right. like you break it, you chip your tooth biting it. It was so terrible. It was like – I felt so bad because, you know, you, how hard is it to barbecue something, to grill? I'm, I'm sorry. It's not, bar- it's not barbecue unless you're – it's – to grill something, how hard is it? But I knew I I knew it was too soon, and it's a small little barbecue, and I knew I was putting all that grease on there, and the grease was going to ignite. Now, it, have you, it did. Has has either of you ever uh, used pie irons to make like a like a sandwich? Kind of what? It's like a pie iron. It's like a little like it's like a metal kind of thing where you put bread on both sides, and then you put some kind of filling in there. And then you sandwich it together, and then you stick it in the oh the yeah. fire yeah I, 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 oh oh I know I know what you're talking about okay yeah I've, no. I've never used it in a fire but I've definitely used it like I know a, what you're, I know you're talking about yeah. oh okay well th- we we use them when we're having our family get together because you know there's like twenty plus of us I mean I don't know I don't know what the number is there's like twenty to thirty of us so. In order to cook for all of us, it's kind of like a self serve thing. It's like you make your own, you grill your own, and if you leave it in there too long, it's it's burnt. Yeah, <laughs> so it's kind of like you're your own chef. But we make a version with a we make a version that's a pie iron Reuben. So you take rye bread. I mean, you spray the little cast iron kind of thing that holds your meat, your uh, bread, but you put rye, um, some a little bit of corned beef. Um, some Swiss, I think, and then a little bit of Thousand Island and sauerkraut. So Sounds delicious, dude. It it is delicious, and uh, I will tell you, as a vegetarian, I have a few moments where I cheat, and that is one of the moments where I cheat. So, I have... well, I'll, I'll tell you, talking <laughs> about cheating with food, uh, you know how I'm so happy I lost 15 pounds doing Weight Watchers. Um. The gummies and, and, gave it back, and, and then I went to vacation. <laughs> I, I, I gained seven and a half pounds over the last week, um, just for because I was just you eat, eat. my hamburger. I'll tell you, man, eating like eating like an a hole with no regard for personal health for seven days will do that to you. So you didn't, you weren't like this with the beer going. That's seven points. I can't. I can only have one. No, I decided. <laughs> I decided very early on that I was not doing any type of point counting while I was on vacation. I was just living life. It is vacation, so you should. You should. Uh... We did. We did make one conscious effort, uh, which I kind of regret because I should. We should have just gone all in. But the, the the amount of beer that me and these two other guys consumed last week um, was collegiate. <laughs> That's the best way I can describe it. So we made a decision very early on, knowing. Because last year, I think we we spent I don't even know how many hundreds of dollars on beer, but we we probably had over the three of us probably had drank I don't know sort of close to two hundred beers throughout the entire. Wow, week. that's a I lot of beer. I, I think I yeah. remember you bragging about this last year. Yeah, too. It, it, yeah. it was. It's not. It's not something we should brag about. It's actually okay. pretty fucking terrible. Okay. Um, but uh-huh. when you're we we were, we didn't leave the house though, so like we we left the house to buy beer or to walk. 15 feet down the down the, the sand dune to the beach 
to which we would drink. So we would drink on the beach, you know, throughout the day. And then we would drink at night, obviously, by, by the, on the beach again, by the fire. So we decided if we're going to be drinking this much beer, why wouldn't we just take the least bad for you option on the table? So we drank Michelob Ultras. Huh. Yeah. And I'll tell you, at first, I'm like, this sucks. And then I got throughout the rest of the week and I realized how many of them we were drinking. Of, and I started doing the math in my head of how many calories would have been consumed if it were not a Michelob Ultra. So you drank and the beer you didn't like, but did you eventually it, it, it just become, okay, I'm immune to it being so bad? Exactly. Exactly. Because we, we cut the day up with drinking like Tito's. <laughs> so, oh, yeah. It, yeah, it See, worked That's out. a good vodka. Oh, that's my favorite vodka. I don't yeah. even like vodka, but I like it a lot. Yeah. No, I'm with you on that. <laughs> anyway, I only yeah. like vodka when I'm going to the voting booth. So I, I, lo- I, I, g- I gained back half the pe- half the way I lost, and um, I also shat out my liver. So To the voting booth? <laughs> Since he did say voting booth. Voting booth, yeah. <laughs> Uh, I, I prefer white Russian. Okay. <laughs> get, get, get it? Russia voting booth? Uh, uh, yeah. It, it helps me decide, you know? What are you going to do? Uh, I did go, I did want to say before, on, on this episode <laughs> that I went, I actually, my wife and I actually went out to the movies. Um, I talked her, I talked her into going to the movies and we went to the Alamo uh, Draft House. Which, have you guys been there? No, but I have a similar venue near me. It's the it's the it's the only way to uh, see a movie. Uh, I used to say by Jay's house they have the stadium theaters, theaters and stuff like that, and you can get food and bring it up. But they they actually come to your seat. They tell people they can't talk on cell phones. No one's supposed to be talking. And it was funny because the people next to us. I I, I was telling the story to my Heather and Jay today. My and I said they went and saw Toy Story, and I go. The thing that's funny, I go, the, the older people next to us, I go, well, I'm saying older people next to us, they're probably our age, my, Cindy and my, but they were so loud because they would like, he one that picked this movie. <laughs> it's a, they're going back and forth with it. I'm like, what? And I was just, Jay goes, you report him. I go, I did at one point go like this with my wife and raise, like, they have like these notes, the paper you write on. I went, should I, should I, should I? But they, uh, they were just so – then he goes – then she brought him a beer, and she, he goes, just, if you don't like this, tell me. And he goes, I'll drink it. It doesn't matter. He just, he's just loud. Everyone in the theater turned around and looked at him, and he drank it really quick and then had another one. He probably had fun hanging out with you, Chris. But uh, <laughs> he uh, – but we went and saw the movie yesterday. Do uh, you guys know the premise of this movie? Yeah. No. Mm-hmm. I haven't seen it yet. It's a, it's a struggling uh, a guy who's a songwriter, singer. He's been struggling for 10 years. He can't break he, – he can't make it to the next level. Uh, and then the storm, this blackout happens. He gets in an accident, and the premise of the movie is a lot of stuff disappears that, that, that's popular in the world, you know, over, over history, disappears. And only, only him and a couple other people can remember things. Well – He's one of the few that can remember the Beatles. The Beatles mm. don't exist anymore. So he starts singing these songs and recording the songs like they're his songs. And they're, they're the Beatles songs. And okay. the, the actor that's, that, that is fantastic. He sings great. And I don't want to spoil the movie, but it's, it's funny. It's, it's, it's got some heart to it. Uh, I would highly recommend it. I, it, it was, really? I really enjoyed it. I mean, I, I, it was... It kept me entertained the whole time, even though the people next to it, is that the girl on Saturday Night Live? Yes, that's the girl on Saturday Night Live. But uh, it just it just was uh, – and there's there's different things. When you, when you, like he'll ask for something, and they'll look at him like, what? What's that? And you, you kind of go – it's like something that everybody in the world knows, but nobody knows because it's never been – it was never invented or it never hmm. happened. Hmm. So, But, yeah, the Beatles uh, – if you love the Beatles, you're going to love this. Uh, you'll love this movie. And like I said, I I loved it. I thought it was great. Now Nick would probably hate it. No, what, say? what, what, what do you think? What do you think Nick would say? No, Nick uh, was Nick was talking about this movie. Don't you remember? Did, did Nick see it? No, no, he didn't see it. But he had talked to us about it. Like I don't know, probably like eight episodes ago. He yeah, was. I remember. I said I wanted to see it. I I wanted to see it. What the fuck? What? And my, my wife was like going, 
I don't know if I'm going to like this movie. I don't know. I don't know. And the worst, the funny thing is the previews, there were like three movies. I wanted to, I said, I'd go see that. I'd go see that. There's a, there's one that's coming out where the kid, the kid is influenced. He's never listened to Bruce Springsteen. Mm. And he hears Bruce Springsteen and he gets, just falls in love with Bruce Springsteen's music. I think he's from England or something like that. So that looks like a good one. And of course, Downton Abbey's coming out. So the movie. I've never seen anything to do with Downton Abbey. I think I'm I, one of the only people in the world. I, t- I told my wife, I said, okay, let's go to the premiere. Let's uh, do it for Crazy Hank TV. Let's dress up in their their uh, their cost. You know how their 1920s British attire and go to the movies mm-hmm. like that. She goes, I couldn't do that. I go, why not? <laughs> Who cares? I mean, you're going to. You're going to I go, Let's do it. Let's do it. So she's like, I don't. I couldn't do that. I could I go? Why? That would be funny. I'll, I'll get the little British hat and the British suit and stuff like that. And but anyway, go see yesterday. When all right. you, all you so far away. Hey, Jack, b- before we close out this first of two shows, now that we pulled the curtain back. Are we, are we doing two shows? Uh, I don't know. Did, okay. Um, anyways, so I'll read the email anyway. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> We're doing two shows. I'm sorry. What happened? I, I froze up. Um, no. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and read the email. Okay, go know. ahead. Uh, we do have an email from Joanne, the plan. Uh, it says, Jack, Matt, Chris, and Nick. About 10 years ago, my son, who had a Verizon phone with an unlimited text plan with other Verizon phones, began dating a lovely young lady who happened to be deaf. So clearly, texting was the best option for communication. One month after they started dating, the over $500 phone bill comes in. She was a T-Mobile customer. Oops. So this is back when... If you're on Verizon, you can unlimited you text. If you're texting somebody who else who's on Verizon, yeah, right? But you couldn't. You couldn't. Uh, yeah, have you part of the same network, right? Yeah. So, a quick change of plans that were needed after a little parent to some discussion on responsibilities and awareness, and then all then all was fine. At least until they discovered that long range relationships, attending two different colleges, did not make for strong bonds without a lot of work. From Joanne. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, so Joanne's uh, definitely responding from our last show's conversation about texting back when texting costed money um, before yeah. everyone unlimited. But yeah, um, I, think, I think Jack, you had, you were the one that brought up Jay and Colleen's. Well, because well, because Jay had, had it's we had said do you want it was like nineteen dollars a month for the unlimited plan back then. I don't need it. I don't text anybody. Well, he started dating Colleen, and then we just noticed him one day. And if you've ever t- text with Colleen. It's like rapid fire. I mean, there's a, she's like 17 sentences ahead. I'm, I'm so I just go okay, okay. And then it's not a, okay. It's just k k k k. Because she's just so fast at, at the texting. So it's just like nonstop. But then, like I said, he goes, "Oh, you don't have the unlimited plan." Did I freeze again? No. Oh, okay. But then he just he, so yeah. So that's what brought it up. It was just like we were lucky to switch it to my said. Oh, it's supposed to be on my. And they were pretty cool about it. But it was it was like it was close to two hundred, but not five hundred. Yeah, five hundred. It's, it's a lot. So, but I said cell so, phones are always they're always they're, it's a scam. So similar, not at all story. Um, it's not even close to being related to this at all. But hey, this is how my brain's working today. Um, have you guys heard of the app uh, called Be My Eyes? Mm, no, no I haven't heard that. It's incredible. Uh, I highly recommend you download it for your phones. Uh, what Be My Eyes is, is it's an incredible service that is free to use. Um, and it has two different types of logins, right? So you have a login as a, as a volunteer, and you can, or you can log in as a user. And the app is designed for folks who are legally blind. Oh, okay. And what it, what it is is that if, if the, the user is logged in, and they request help trying to identify something or read something specifically, um, they can open up the app on their phone and request help. And what happens is, is that depending on what time zone this is all taking place in and uh, so forth and so on, you get a notification on your iPhone. It says, hey, Be My Eyes is requesting help 
And when you tap on it, essentially what it does is it, it creates a, a one-way FaceTime um, where the user will hold their phone up to help the person on the other end see what's going on on their phone, and they can verbally help them identify what they're looking oh, that's, at. That's very cool. Um, it's incredible use of technology. And um, I've been a, a volunteer on it for about a year and a half now. And a few weeks back, maybe like about, maybe about a month ago, I, I finally got to take my first Be My Eyes call. I, it's happened so many times where I get the notification and I don't click on it or tap on it fast enough because another volunteer has taken the call. Oh, because it goes out to anybody that's in that area? Exactly. Or that in that time zone, right? Okay, yeah. Uh, and, and what's really cool is that the amount of volunteers completely dwarfs the actual amount of users who need the help, which is amazing to me um and to them um but it was cool so i actually i actually got my first be my eyes call about a month ago and there was this dude who was he was trying to see whether or not he won the mega millions <laughs> <laughs> and he had like i think he had like a half a dozen of uh like lottery tickets and he wa- <laughs> and, and, and he couldn't tell which ticket was which because he wanted to go down to the to the um the redemption center or wherever it was where he got his lottery tickets mm-hmm. from the game store. And he wanted to make sure he was going to hand over and scan over the right ticket. So he held his phone up and he was kind of like hovering over each different ticket. And I had to identify which one was like the Powerball or Mega or whatever it was. I couldn't figure out what it was, but it was just really cool, man. And you know, it took 30 seconds out of my day and I was able to help this dude figure out what he was trying to organize that he couldn't see, but I could. And uh, I just think it's a, it's a really, truly phenomenal, like, you know, utilization of technology for, for good. So um, if you anybody listening, if you check it out, it's the app's called Be My Eyes. You can download it on the, um, on the App Store for free. And uh, I just think it's totally cool. It's that is, that a, is pretty cool. One, one more way that we can help other people. Nice. Well, I think that's a good way to good way into the show. Yeah, it's a positive. Yeah. yeah. Positive for the first time ever on this show, we end on a positive note. Yeah, something that it's... Roses and sunshine, oh, or whatever. Oh, <laughs> I was I was gonna say something crass, but I'm I'm holding it back. I just did. I said, "Go fuck you." I love that. Oh, I'm still I'm still I'm still here. I was thinking like there could be an app called Be My BJ. But I guess, <laughs> I guess I, it's called yeah. Tinder, it's dude. <laughs> yeah. no, no, I, I, I'm, I'm with you. I'm it's like, uh, Always oh, coming back. Always got to. Always got to fuck up the show, huh, man? I just was trying to come back. It, it, was, it, was, it was a nice, positive way to end the show. Yeah, you're the favorite. Anyway, uh, <laughs> Amazon's got a big sell. Isn't it Amazon uh, coming up 15th, 16th, or 16th, 17th? Something, something tapping in the middle of July, Friday. right? So yeah, if you love Amazon and you love us, how we always end on a positive note. <laughs> Go to jandjack.com, click on the button that says Amazon, shop Amazon, and everyone on the podcasting network gets a little piece of the pie, a little, little, little piece, a little, little prize, a little, little something, something for the effort. Uh, maybe they can get Matt the BJ app if he's what he's looking for, you know, dream, dream come true. But if you do that, Amazon, that helps us out a lot too. Or you can become a patron. Go to jandjack.com, click on the button, become a patron. Every little bit helps. Again, it just it helps everybody on the podcasting network. Uh, but this time we're going to thank we thank all our patrons. We thank everybody. We thank everyone who listens to us. We're going to thank Tack from Paris, Eckhart Richter, Glaffelder, Joanne with a plan, Maggie that magnificent, Ed the creepy letter carrier, and Drake the destroyer at the hiccups. Thanks for doing what you do. Thanks for everyone we do. Thanks for listening. Thanks for putting up with us. Uh, thanks to the other guy. This was his best show he's ever had. Incredible. Yeah. Without without question, I, I don't think we inter- I, you didn't interrupt him once, Chris. I, I don't think our level of jokes would have reached this climax <laughs> had he been here to interrupt. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Can I just can I just air a grievance here? I know that I get a lot of shit for interrupting Nick. But I have to honestly say that yes, I do from time to time interrupt him with some um, unbelievably great thoughts. <laughs> But you guys are just as bad, if not worse. Well, f- first, I'm the boss, <laughs> right? You guys said it had to. Second, you still got that same DVD on your, uh, behind you. Same fucking it's DVD right sitting there. I mean, people at the beach didn't want to watch Dust Boats. 
You should have well, brought it and said, hey, this is entitled Dust Beer. So I, I, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I Everybody want to get turned up and read some subtitles? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, to be fair, man, you know, I haven't been here, so. <laughs> he Literally, you only have to, after you're done recording, go just knock it off. Just, just to knock it off. It's in and stage that box. is exactly what she said. <laughs> <clears throat> it's moved officially. All right, finally. Here it is. Right. Finally. A little bit of dust on it. Should have a little been, bit. There should, there should be an little app. Bit of dust. There, should dust. Be an, there should be an app. Help me move my disc, my DVD. <laughs> be my eyes while I watch Doc <laughs> move. <laughs> That's a three-hour call. I don't know about that. Uh, <laughs> uh, he's the director's cut, so it might be more than three hours. Anyway, um, yeah. I, I again, all right. Matt has no excuse for interrupting, but I do because you guys said I'm the boss, so I can do what I want. Yeah. I if, when a thought comes to my, I like you said, I got it. I, I I'm polite. I think I'm polite about it though. Sorry to interrupt you, Nick. But anyway. I don't think I'm rude. I didn't say. No one said you're rude. Everybody interrupts everybody on this podcast. That's one thing I've yeah, noticed. That, so. That's another point to be made. Yeah, I am not I mean, the interrupter. It's maybe because you're the loud. I am loud. That, that's true. I just don't think people like me nearly as much as they like Nick and in the favorite. <laughs> <laughs> they they hate us is what, what you're saying. Uh, yeah. Jack just like to stir us. things up. That's all. So I mean what, how did I stir I, what, how, you, I didn't bring this up. Potster. You're a potster. I'm sure. a potster. I like to, I like the, the, the correct term shit stir. <clears throat> On that note. Uh, great well, show, so, kids. So, so, much, and you're not so much for ending, so much, so much for ending it positive. Well, I'm is trying that, to get my my closing uh, line out here before you, because you like to rattle them all off. You like to get everybody's. You know, you like to sweep I, I, them. I, 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 I have, I have no idea what you're talking about. Put them in a body bag, Johnny. <laughs> That's it. I'm out. That's all I got. Screw you guys. I'm going home. Hasta luego, and goodbye. See you next Bye. Tuesday. <laughs> Should have interrupted when you're saying that. <laughs>